we have a hadith, a very known hadith, it's said on the member a lot, that Rasulullah Sallallahu said to Imam Ali, if it wasn't for me, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wouldn't have created you, and if it wasn't for you, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wouldn't have created me, and if it wasn't for Fatima the Zahra, he wouldn't create neither of us. But they said, please expand on this hadith. Thank you very much. The narration. Well, this hadith, I think, is one of the narrations that highlights to us that divine, mystical, Abrahamic light mm. that continued in the loins of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the great Abu Talib alayhi salam. Mm. It wasn't just a matter of Arabs who were becoming leaders of a religion. Rather, it was part of a divine covenant. Mm. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was also showing us that in reality, these three, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, Ali and Fatima, are the greatest teachers that I have created if ever you want to understand my religion or my religion, or anything, yeah. my existence, and the mercy that surrounds you. And believe you me, subhanallah, when you look at a sermon like Al Khutbah Al Fadaki of Fatima Zahra, or a dua like the supplications of Ali, you'll find that if you want to know God, there is no one better than the triumvirate, the triumvirate of Muhammad, Ali, and Fatima. Mm. So therefore, when we read narrations like this, or read a narration like Imam al-Askari's narration, we are a hujjah on the people and Fatima is a hujjah on us. Such narrations highlight to us that the very depths of knowledge in this religion and the foundations of this religion lie with Rasulullah, with Fatima Zahra and with, no doubt, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.